What's a good word everybody? Tiger727 back with another quick video. Uh, I just want to show up a few pickups that I got. Uh, two off eBay and uh, two that I actually picked up at a local card store while I was traveling for work. First one is the 72 Billy Martin. Everybody's uh, very familiar with this card. Um, oddly enough, you got Billy Martin and uh, Billy Ripken. Both have infamous um, cards out there with uh, basically the same gesture or uh, word on the card. And I'm not going to go into that because most people know what it is. But either which way, I, whether or not this was intentional, you know, knowing Billy Martin and his history, part of me wants to say yes. Um, but if you kind of look at it too, the way he's just holding the bat, it could have just been a coincidence. But I will never know. Either which way, did not have it. So finally picked that up for next to nothing. And then this card is, well, I don't even know if you really want to call it a card, but uh, I looked them up online and there's, they screen printed, um, and I'm just showing you the back here. Obviously it's a piece of metal, that's all it is. But it looks like what they did is they screen printed photos of certain people on um, pieces of metal the size of the baseball card. And this here is Tom Selleck. Everybody knows that in, back in the 80s, during Magnum P.I., he always wore the Tiger hat. Big Tiger fan, born in Michigan. He was born in Detroit. And um, so, yeah, I found these. If you actually look it up on eBay or look up Tom Selleck, you'll see that they've screen printed some stuff from photos from his uh, wearing the uniform in Mr. Baseball, um, stuff like that. So just some, just some odd stuff. And I think it was, it was kind of neat to have. And in the local card store, in my travels, I always wanted this card. I believe he's going to make it to the Hall of Fame one of these days. I think he's well deserving of the Hall of Fame, personally. And uh, just the history of, this, of the Pirates in those days. I'm kind of a closet Pirates fan, I guess. Or maybe, maybe I just enjoy the Pirates history. But uh, nice card. Back in the days of him and Doc Ellis, Willie Stargell. Um, Obviously, uh, early part of their careers, I think Clemente was, they overlapped for a little bit. But, uh, either which way, great card to have. And uh, whether he makes it to the hall or not, I would be happy to have it. And then I saw this and I hemmed and hawed about it. I had not had any of these. And once I saw it, I decided, you know what? Um, or once I bought it, I decided I might actually try to go for the set. And I'm drawing a blank at the moment if it's a 53 or 54 um piece of hair on there sorry about that um 53 or 54 uh red man but uh because these were out i believe it was for three years and you can see the perforations at the bottom they had like a little tab on the bottom this one obviously is not there but some people are really want the ones with the tab those are more rare uh, most people would rip the tabs off as you can see here where where it was and you just flip it over on the back and the vintage look to it is just super cool you see some of the some of the writing or the ink is starting to wear off um this must be the 54 because you can see in the last period the last sentence there it says this offer expires march 31st in 1955. but if anybody's interested in you know going for the old tobacco cards um obviously not the early 1900s but uh 1950s uh, this is the way to go I just really like these. Uh, they're definitely wider than a normal card, but uh, probably slightly higher too. But uh, just a very, very nice, nice card of Yogi. So with that, I hope everybody's doing well. We'll talk to you later.